Hi, my name is Patrick, but you can call me 26. And what we're going to talk about today is Booleans and comparison operators, right? Now, Booleans simply tell us whether or not something is true or false. And those are the only values it can contain, true or false. And let's have a look at that, right? So we could come here and we say var a is going to be true, like so. And then we say var b is going to be false, right? Now, where they're useful is when you have um, when you're checking conditions, right? So we could say if a, what it's going to do, we're going to do here, we're going to look at if statements later, but I'm just going to show you where booleans really shine. And this is going to be if a print, okay, right? So if you run this, um, this code is going to run if the condition is true, if a is true, right? So it evaluates a to be true and prints this, right? But if we repeat the same with b, this is not going to run because b is not true, right? So this is going to be skipped over, right? So that's where, um, Boolean really shine, right? And we're going to be seeing that later on, right? Now we also have um, operators like the AND operator or operator, logical operators that we can use to evaluate something, right? Like if we come here and we create a bit more, we say var C, C could also be true and um, var D, D can be false, right? So you could come here and do things like um, A, and C, if we run this, this is going to evaluate to true, right? Because both of them are true, right? But if we do A and B, this will evaluate to false because one of them is false. If any of them is false, it evaluates to false, right? A and D similarly will evaluate to false. If we run that, we find that this is going to be false. And um, if we say the same for C and D, uh, evaluate to false. And if we do false and false, it's also going to evaluate to false, right? If we do B and D, we run this, this is also going to evaluate to false. Because if you're using the logical operator AND, which is represented by two ampersands, both of them have to be true for each to evaluate to true. If any of them is false, it evaluates to false, right? Now, the next operator we could do is we could have the OR operator, right? Which is represented by two half pipes, right? So if we say A, or a this will evaluate to true because one of them is true um if we say a or b this will evaluate to true because um one of them is true if one of them is true it evaluates to true a and c both of them are true so we have already seen that a and d will also work similarly now where it's going to work is if we have false and false right let's look at that which is going to be b or d right if we have b or d this will evaluate to false because um both of them are false if one of them is true that's when it evaluates to true, right? And um, we could also use the negation, the not operator, right? So for example, if we say not A, this will evaluate to false, right? If we run this, this is going to be false, right? And we say not B, this will evaluate to true, right? So those are some of the operators that we, those are some of the logical operators we could use. Next thing we want to look at is, let's look at comparison operators, right? Now with comparison operators, they basically compare a couple of things, right? So we could say here, three greater than two, uh, this is going to evaluate to false, if we run this, right? Uh, three is greater than two, so it's going, going to evaluate to true. Yeah, right? And if we evaluate something like um, four is, uh, lesser than five, let's say that, that's going to be, um, five is greater than, rather, five is greater than, but if it's four is lesser than two, this is going to be false, right? And um, we could also have the greater or equal to, so we could say three is greater or equal to nine, which is going to evaluate to false, so that's going to be false, like so. And if we also say something like um, three, is three like so run this this is going to evaluate to true that is the case and um it also flips the other way if we say lesser than or equal to that's going to also be true and if we say this is less than nine this is also going to evaluate to true and um another one is to check whether or not two numbers are equal and we could come here and say something like three nine this is going to evaluate to false but three, three is going to evaluate to true, right? That's the case. And if we check three is not equal to another operator with the bang sign, three is not equal to, let's say two. If we run this, this is going to be true. Three is not equal to two. But if we say three is going to be equal to three, this, if we evaluate, 
is going to be true. Now, we could chain together several um, op comparison operators to evaluate longer expressions, right? So for example, we could come here and do something like, um, let's see, um, get a bit finicky, and say something like, we would like to say uh, four is greater or equal to five, and we say something like, and, um, and, this is going to be something like uh, six is greater than seven. And we say here, or, or uh, five is equal to nine, right? So this is going to evaluate to false, right? And the reason for this is pretty straightforward because five is not equal to nine, right? So this is going to evaluate, this side is going to evaluate to false. And this other side, four is greater than or equal to five, which is false. So this is going to evaluate to false. If we run this and confirm, this is actually going to be false. So you could chain several of this together to check whether or not um, something is true or false and get a Boolean after using the operators and getting a Boolean as your result.